Hello, my name is Mel Call, and this is GPE 340's Milestone 5, also known as the Final Milestone. And as you can see, I still have everything from the previous game, gizmos, well, previous milestones, walking, shooting, mini-map, all that fun stuff. Now, the main menu has... Uh, setting slash options menu where it keeps all the options right for the player to be able to set it also has a help menu of what are the controls and what's the idea of the game behind the game to survive against the enemies as long as possible under the options menu there is a uh, volume controls so you can change what the volume is and change that stuff and it does this by the game manager it gets the slider which is this sec is it gets the audio source which is these it gets the text which is this text and then when the slider is moved it calls volume controller which sets the uh, audio sources volume to whatever the sliders value is at and then it sets the text by getting the text dot text prints out what whether it's music volume or fxx volume and then it gets the sliders value and sends it to string because the volume the audio sources volume will be the same as the value and it does that there are a couple Uh, there are triggered audio of there's multiple whenever you click a button there's a button press sound and this happens by in the game manager there's a list for audio clips and then it sets the then it goes through along with one for button press and it goes through and when it's pressed it gets it gets the sound effects audio source it plays one shot which means it only plays once you then you input the what clip you want to play and what volume do you want to play at which is the audio sources volume for the sound effects and it does that there is also in the main game scene what, uh, sound effects for when you shoot and when you for when you're hit by grabbing for the shoot it grabs the game it gets the game manager it gets the game manager component it gets the audio uh, source for the sound effects from the game manager and then it gets the shoot clip which is in the list of the game manager as shown of firing and then it goes and when it shoots it does similar to what it does for the button press it gets the audio source plays it once you import what clip you input what clip you want which is the shoot and then what volume so the sound effects volume and it does something similar for the health only instead of getting the shoot clip you get the hit clip and then you have it play when you take damage because that means you're hit now there is music the background environmental music that plays and this is done by for the main menu it starts off with a chosen clip and then when you go and you hit start the game, as you can see, the clip changed. And it did this by level setup script, which it gets the game manager, it gets that. It already has a, a audio clip that you can choose which clip you want to play for the level. So if you have this in a different level, you can have a different clip here. And then it goes, it 
sets the audio sources clip to the clip you want. So it's this one. And then it goes and it plays the clip. And considering it's already on loop, you don't have to worry about it that much. For particle effects, as seen, the main menu has some particle effects. That makes it seem like you're actually in space slash floating through space rather than just staying still just to add some extra stuff to it. And the in the main game scene you have rain particle effects that don't cover the entire field. It, they're just covering this specific area and then it follows your character when you move them. That way it doesn't take up as much frame and it doesn't roll it as much. And then you can also see there's lights, so that way with the rain, it, the, the uh, directional light is reduced in intensity to act like it's cloudy overcast that you can't see. And then the lights that help shine your way of specific areas and such. And help make the game seem darker than it is. And the, uh, for the frames per second, it's very good on the main menu scene. There's, it generally stays around 75-ish. For the main player scene, it go, does go a little low, but generally it's around, looks like 50 to 60 FPS. And for the ending game scene, it of the end game scene, it's generally around the same as the main menu. So overall, it doesn't seem to run that slow. It runs fine. I generally don't get any problem with it, but. If you have a lower end computer, it might be better or worse, depending on what your settings are at. There is going to be a build available in the re both repository and in the submission when I submit this. The code is well commented, well done of this is what it does, sets the variables, and then sets the clip to play and plays the clip. Here's what each void does, all that stuff. It's well commented. The It has a good scope of doesn't need, have more lines than needed, so it doesn't do something in 300 lines that it could do in 150, stuff like that. And otherwise, it does it is a portfolio piece of this is how far I've gotten from the beginning days of 2D art of the 2D games that just look like crud and this is this is it for me thank you for watching bye